hi and welcome to our new kit the knitting mill wire word and wall art kit so in your pack you will have um one of these rico knitting mills which inside the box it contains the actual mill and it contains a peg but it's a heavy peg because it's used as a weight as I'll show you in a moment and you will also receive two balls of the Rico Rumi yarn the colour of which you will have chosen when you ordered so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you first of all how to thread the loom So first of all, I'm going to show you how to thread the knitting mill, which it is quite tricky to begin with, but once you get the hang of it, it will become second nature. And once we've made our cord, I'm then going to show you how to use the wire to make the wall art that you choose. Okay, so if you make sure you've got your mill, you've got your weight, You've got your yarn and then we're ready to start. Okay, so here's an example of the cord that the knitting mill makes. And as you can see, it gives that lovely, lovely soft knitted effect. And you'll be able to create this in no time once you become familiar with um, working the mill. Okay, so as you can see, there's lots of different colors. Um, dependent on what you've chosen in your kit is to the one you're working with but the uh, the possibilities of this are endless okay so in your box with your knitting mill it does have a set of instructions okay but in all honesty I did find watching somebody how to work one of these was more beneficial to myself than actually reading the instructions on here. So by all means, read the instructions. Here's the English version. Okay, um, but it shows you that we're going to use our ball of yarn, which we've got here. We're going to put it through the lower guide, which you can see it's located at the opposite side to the handle. And then we're going to put through the upper guide, which you can see is like this cut out bit here. We're going to thread it through the needles and then I'll show you how to add the weight and use the, the handle. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to show you the, the needles. Okay, so you can see there's four needles on the mill and they've got latches, okay? Now, to begin with, we want all of these latches to be open, okay? And again, you can always refer to the instructions here where it does show you latch closed, latch open, okay? But you need to make sure that all of those latches are open to begin with, okay? Up now, unwound at the beginning of my yarn okay and this Rikarumi it's lovely because it's nice and lightweight and one of these balls will make you approximately four meters in length of of the eye cord okay and you're going to take the end find the um the lower guide which was on the back and you're going to come from the bottom and go up through that lower guide okay now you'll need to hold it into place so it doesn't fall out and then you want to put it through that upper guide there okay now you will probably need to stop this video rewind it pause it a number of times but please feel free to do that now and then uh, we'll carry on so once you've gone through the lower guide and the upper guide, that tail of yarn, we want to put through the center of the mill, okay? So if you can see, there's a tube running all the way through the center of the mill, 
Okay, so that is going to go through there. Okay, and you're going to feed it through. And then when you feed it, fed it through, it will come out of the bottom. Okay, that's where you want to clip your peg. And you can feel it's quite a weighty peg, which is exactly what we need. Okay, because that's going to keep it nice and tight in the mill. Okay, now I'm just going to rest that peg on the table for now. So I've now got my yarn threaded through. It's in both of the guides properly. And we're going to turn the handle slightly. Okay, and I'm just going to try and get the best way of showing you this. Okay, so we want the first hook to grab the yarn. So you're going to take the handle, turn it, and you can see that that yarn has been grabbed by the first hook. Okay, and then just going to lift the yarn to the other side of the second hook because we do not want the hook to grab the yarn. Okay, so let me just recap because it, like I say, is a bit tricky. The first hook, it's going to grab the yarn. The second hook, you're going to lift it over the needle. Okay, and there we go. You can use a little pin to help you if you want. Then you're going to carry on turning your handle and it's then going to grab the yarn with the third hook. Okay, when you get to the fourth one, that's when I'm going to lift it over again. So you can use your hands or you can use a needle. I find it actually easier to use my fingers. Okay, so it's going to miss the fourth hook out. All right. So I'm going to take that out and I'm going to show you that again. All right. So let me take it all the way back. So I've gone through my lower guide. Okay. I've gone through my upper guide and I'm going to feed my yarn through that middle tube. Okay, once it's fed through the middle tube, I'm going to clip my peg. Okay, so now I've got my yarn ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to turn the handle and I want my yarn to grab with the first needle or the first hook, okay? Then I want it to miss the next one. Okay, so again, you can use your fingers if you need to. So keep turning, so it misses the next one. And then keep turning, so it grabs with the third and then it it misses the fourth. Okay, so there you've done one complete turn. All right, so just check that yours looks something like that. So it's almost like you've got the cord, the yarn going from one side to the other, and then the other two sides, they haven't got the yarn on, okay? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to lift the mill up slightly, right? So notice that I'm holding it at the moment with just in place with my finger, okay? If I don't hold it with my finger, the weight's just going to pull the yarn down, all right? But what I'm going to do now to get it going is I've just lifted my peg off the table, okay? So it's dangling here. There we go. And we're just going to turn our handle a few times. And now we want it to grab the yarn 
all of the time. Okay, so can you see it's grabbing? And then just keep turning. And then what you should be able to see is, oh, where are we? What you should be able to see is here that the yarn just came like flipped over the top of the one needle. Okay, and it, that's how it's going to work. So you're just going to keep pulling, okay? Now you might need to pull this down in the center if you need to. And you always want to make sure that the yarn leading to your ball of yarn is nice and loose, okay? Because if it gets too tight, that's when we're gonna have, have problems. And you just want to keep pulling. I'll just move the peg up a bit, pulling that round, keep turning your handle, and can you see now how it's beginning to just come off each hook as we go along? Okay, I'm just going to keep pulling that. If that, like that bit there, just got caught a bit, you could always just use. A needle just to help you flip it over and you're just going to keep going and going and going okay as long as your weight is always hanging freely and as long as your yarn leading to your ball is nice and loose here then it should just move freely and keep going round round and you can see how now that that is knitting quite freely okay now i'm just going to keep going because i want to show you where it comes out of the bottom okay now if you feel that that's gone a little bit tight just make sure that the ball is nice and uh, loose that yarn that's running to it okay so i'm just going to keep going keep going i'm just going to keep going because i want to show you oh, there we go it's coming now okay and there you've got your knitted eye cord coming out of the bottom of the mill okay so all you need to do is you can keep moving your peg up if you need to for the for the weight okay is you just keep turning the handle turning the handle and you'll have a knitted eye cord in absolutely no time okay so if you keep going until you've got the desired length and then I'll show you how we cut it off. Okay. If you have got a word in mind that you want to make, then just keep watching the video because I'll show you how we make the length, um, the correct length of the eye cord. Okay. All right. So that's just going to keep going, keep going, keep going. really relaxing it's really therapeutic okay the, the thing you have to work on at mostly is making sure that your peg is hanging freely okay so you don't want it leaning against the table or if it falls on your lap it needs to be hanging to to weight it through the tube and you've just got to make sure that this cord this yarn sorry going to your ball is nice and loose okay if it gets stuck those are most likely the two reasons that your weight's not hanging properly or your working yarn is too tight okay right in the next part of the video i'm going to show you how we measure the cord length if you're making a particular word okay so I'll do it. Okay, so I've written the word 
on my card that I want. And what I'm going to do now to measure how much I cord I need, I'm just going to use another piece of yarn, use scrap yarn for this. And I'm just going to go over the, the word as if I was writing it. Okay, so I'll come back on myself there. Then I'm going to go over there. There now, this has just has to be rough, it doesn't have to be exact. Up. Loop my A. And there we go. Okay, so that's near enough. I don't know what's happened to my V there. There we go. It's near enough how we're going to be. Okay, a little bit of a dirt, and then I'm just going to snip it there. Okay, so I now know that when I'm doing my I cord, that I need to make sure that my I cord is that length. Okay, so I can move those out of the way for now. And now let me bring my knitting mill back, make sure I'm not tangled. Okay, so I'm just going to move my peg up. I'm moving my peg closer to the mill so it's still hanging and making sure my yarn is nice and loose that's leading to the ball. Okay, and I'm going to keep going. I might just have to stop, keep adjusting it just to make sure that we're not uh, getting tangled anywhere. Keep moving my peg up so it's hanging freely. I just don't want it to be resting against the table or resting against your lap because then it, it won't pull it through the tube. Can do and what is an easier way of doing it is if you have it on um, just like on the edge of a table so then you can have this hanging down freely and you don't have to keep stopping but obviously with the camera at the moment I uh, I can't do it that way because it just it, well, I just won't be able to show you properly okay I can feel that getting tight so. This is where I'm just going to get my other cord that I measured. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, so I've still got quite a way to go. Be quite amazed actually how how much you need to make even for just a short word, because uh, especially if you're doing a calligraphy style of text, you've got all the loops and swirls. But I just find it looks nicer. Okay, so you keep going now until you've made the length of cord you want, and then I'll show you how to do the wire. Okay, so once you have made your cord, as long as the cord that you measured, right, just cut the end, and you just want to keep turning the handle until it naturally comes off all of the needles. So just keep going and there you go, pull it. And then you will have like these four loops on the end. Okay, so you want to just get your tapestry needle, wool needle. You just want to put it through all four of those loops. Okay. And then, if you just feed that through the eye, and then we're just 
just going to pull that through and that will tie off the end. Okay, so there we go. Now we're going to feed the wire through the eye cord. Okay, so you want to take your wire, just fold it back a bit. Okay, just probably about four or five centimetres. So you've got your loop bit at the end. And then all you're going to do is you're just going to pop that in through one of the gaps. There you go. And you're just going to feed it all the way through the length of eye cord. Okay, so it might take a bit of time. Straighten your craft wire out as you go along. Okay, and then you might just pop it up. going until you get to the end of your your length of knitted cord okay when you do what you want to do is just trim your wire okay and then just so it's not sharp at the end just bend that back again okay just, just pinch the ends together so you've got that rounded end and then if you just tuck it in and it will just disappear and then okay so once you've got your length of cord and you've put the ends in okay then all that's left for us to do is to oh that end pokes out let's just tuck that back in there okay then all that's left for us to do is then manipulate the cord to write our word. Okay, I'm just going to do it slowly. Bend it back. So you can spend a bit of time doing this to make sure you've got it just as you want it. Okay. So if you do that now, and then I'll show you how to finish off the ends. Okay, so I've completed making my word, and I can I can bend these and uh, and adjust them when I've finished. But all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to trim that length there. And I've already done the other end, but just to sew it in, you just want to put your needle through there. Thread your end of your yarn through. And then you just want to pop it through a good few centimetres of your word. Your end might come out, but you can just pop that back in. Okay. And then you can just trim that off there. Okay, because that stretches, you can just pull it and then that end will disappear. Okay. And there you have got your, your hand knitted word. Okay, oh look, see the ends come out there, but what I can do is I can just, just 
because this cord, uh, the yarn's quite stretchy. There you go. I've just popped it back in. Okay, so just have a play. Make sure your words how you want it to be, and there you go. Your very own personalised water wall art. Uh, right. Well, I really hope you have fun with your knitting mills. I absolutely love mine. And again, you don't just have to do words. You can do pictures. Um, here's an idea I did for Christmas. Just really simple, like a springy Christmas tree. So that was just a length of the cord. And then I've just twisted it round to make a spiral tree. Okay. Right. Remember to click subscribe if you haven't already. Any comments, just leave below. Um, and if you've got any pictures of what you've made, then feel free to share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.